the bottom line. I could care less about Bitcoin. I don't know why I, <laughs> I don't know why I said anything about it. What I have an issue with is a non-fiat cryptocurrency dollar. So crypto, uh, sterling, euro, yen, they're all fine. I don't personally understand the value of something that has no actual value. You all can do whatever you want, and I don't care. Okay? <laughs> all right. That sounds definitive. Bitcoin hit a new high today. It just I, I could care less what Bitcoin trades for, how it trades, why it trades, who trades it. If you're stupid enough to buy it, you'll pay the price for it one day. The only value of a Bitcoin is what the other guy will pay for it. And I think, honestly, I think there's a good chance that Bitcoin, a lot of the buyers out there are up there jazzing up every day so that maybe you'll buy it too and take them out. And, and the other thing I've always made of Bitcoin, governments, and this is not a technological statement, governments are going to crush it one day. Governments like to know where the money is, who has it, and what you're doing with it. And you, in case you haven't noticed, okay? <laughs> so there is a use case for Bitcoin. If you live in Venezuela, North Korea, if you're a criminal, <laughs> Great, great product. <laughs> Was a fraud. Yeah. Why is Bitcoin a fraud? Okay, you just saw China just is closing down the Bitcoin exchanges. And what all I ever said is that bi at Bitcoin, the bigger these things get, the more governments, right now, they look at it as a novelty. You know, they love in, in, in Washington about all oh, this you know, technology, we love technology. Wait until someone gets hurt. Wait until it's used for illicit purposes, which it is somewhat used for illicit purposes. They close it down. And that's my point. So the other reason to close it down is because it's used for illicit purposes. And so it's just not a real thing. And eventually it'll be, it'll be the emperor without clothes. See, and I know you said you weren't going to talk about Bitcoin anymore, but you're at Stanford. Some of us put all our student loan money into it. And uh, I have to ask you anyway, why do you believe that governments and regulators can't allow the existence of a global currency based I, on I become like a, I become like a spokesman against Bitcoin. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about Bitcoin. I could give a shit, to tell you the truth. I, and I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't talk about it. The next day, I thought I'd... Yes. Isold. Pump it. Times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people.
I asked you about Bitcoin, if you remember. We were on a stage together. And uh, back then, you said, I believe, that you were not a believer in Bitcoin. I think you're worried that the government uh, might not allow Bitcoin. But it appears you've changed your mind. They want to know why. Walk us through what happened. We use the blockchain. We have the JP Morgan coin, which is a dollar-backed blockchain. You can move the money, split into little pieces, go with information. So we're a believer in that. We're a believer in cryptocurrency, properly regulated and properly backed. 